and disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. Just use a 10 millimeter wrench. Loosen this up. And set that aside. I'm going to take these bolts out. There's one on this side, one on the other side. Use a 10 millimeter socket. Now I'm going to take these four push pins out. I'm just going to use a trim tool. Take the center part out first and then pop it up. Pop the bottom part out after, just like that. There's three screws on each side. You can just turn the wheel um, to get it out of your way if you need to. I'm going to use a T20 socket to remove them. Now from underneath, I'm going to take these screws out. There's going to be 12 of them all along underneath the front of the bumper. Just use the same T20 socket. There's one right there. Then there's four push pins right here. I'm just going to take those off. Just use a trim tool. Then you can take this cover off. That one's broken. You don't necessarily have to take this cover off. It, it's just going to make lining it back up easier if it's already off. And slide that off. Slide that out. And just grab the bumper and just give it a yank. These pieces are broken right here, but I want to try to not break those pieces. Just give it a firm yank, just like that. And then there's going to be a little side marker light right here. You can just twist the bulb counterclockwise, pull it out, do the same for the other side. Just grab the bumper, slide it forward. If you have fog lights, you're going to have to disconnect those bulbs as well. Now we're going to do this grill. I'm going to take these screws out right here, 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 and here. There's four of them. Use a Phillips head screwdriver. Now I'm going to take a straight blade screwdriver or a pocket screwdriver. And there's these clips that hold the grill in. Just push on the little tabs. Just like that. Should be able to release them. Put a little pressure on the grill, pushing it downwards. There we go. And just push the grill out. And slide it out. Now take a new grill, flip it over, line up the tabs underneath. Once you get all the tabs lined up, you can start pushing it and locking them in place. Now take the screws, get them all started. And snug them all up. Let's take the bumper, line it up a little bit. You want to take these marker lights, and if you had fog lights, put those back in. So get those started. Take the socket, line it up into the lens, and turn it clockwise. And line this up. Try to get this under the light right there. Put these screws back in on the side here. Use the T20 socket and tighten them up. I'll just get them started first. And snug them up. All right, just take the shield, line it up. Slide it in place. Now I'm going to put these push pins in first. There should be one right there, but that one's missing or broken. Put those in, and now I can put the screws in. Then I'm going to tighten these all down. Just snug them up. Now 
I just line these holes up and I'm going to put the two bolts in on the sides first. Just get those started. And take the push pins, get those all in. Once those are all in, now I'll tighten down those other two 10 millimeter bolts. Just snug them up. Take the negative battery cable, put that back on the terminal and tighten it up with a 10 millimeter wrench. Just snug it and make sure it's tight.